Hey y'all, Don't Know Power Ranger here. Um, sorry about my absence. I, um, I'm not gonna lie, I ruptured my appendix. I'm recovering now, and while I'm recovering, I ordered some stuff. Um, I'm gonna be going over all four of the auxiliary swords from Power Ranger Samurai. I gotta text the app goes or hold on. Alright, thanks for being here, Octozord. You don't have to stunt on the other guys though about being in your box. Like now I gotta open you. But that's later. I'm going to go over them the way they came into the show. So that means I'll start with the beetle. Um, I don't need to be in point 0.5 anymore. No, oh, it's been a minute. Okay. So this is the beetle zord. This is Mike's extra zord. And it this is a lot of the... I'm going to say for like all of these almost. Is that it's very different than what other Power Ranger seasons would have, I think. Um... I'm going to go over now. Um, I got I got these used on eBay. Except for Octozord. That was... The box is open, but, like, it was never used. And it was resealed. But, like, the rest of these are used on eBay. Um, someone's dog had a really nice time with this Beetlezord. Um, it's not the biggest deal, but I'd rather it not be there. There's a little bit of wear on here, but uh, that it's fine. Um, his gimmick is, you, you see the wheels, you roll him, and his head spins, which happens in the Japanese version and in the show, but in the Japanese version, there's like a lock here so he can stay in place for all the combinations. This doesn't have that, there's, there's no lock. Um, so, let's show a combination with Samurai Megazord here. Oh, I'm really gonna have to pay. You know, I'm just gonna... There we go. And ain't this smart. So I'm gonna move aside his sword for now. You're gonna want to take off his helmet. You can go ahead and store that in the dragon. Just like that. And then the combination is a little different from the show. So you're gonna actually... Oh. Ooh. About that. Actually, I'm gonna take off his head. And I realize now that... Or did that because it's crooked then you're gonna want to open this like that and just put it right up there if it will lock in there we go in the japanese version you actually put the head down and there's another head inside the beetle zord and also in the show these come off like that all right and then these and then they attach to the sides of the zords like that and this stays on um you can kind of i've seen i haven't got it myself but like other people have done it like you can kind of get it to stay but if i heard it can break it so i wouldn't recommend doing it what i would recommend doing this is what the instructions say which is keep these on All right and then there's a little handle back here that you can fold out, just like that. And then you can put it in the hands of the ape. So now, that shield we lost with Samurai Megazord is brought in here. Of course, not short, not sh show accurate, but I think it's kind of cool. I wish you could do something with these on the Megazord, but... You know, you gotta you gotta pick your battles. And also, one other note for the Beatles or not specifically the head here is that this is supposed to be in for all the combinations almost. Like it, like it goes in, so you can't see the eyes here. I can't even really see. And then you can pop it out for the battle wing, but that does not happen here. It's just permanently out. It's not the biggest deal, but I it is a little bit of a gripe. But yeah. Um I paid about twenty bucks for this on eBay. 
which is not bad considering the original price was like 15 anyway. So it's only like a $5 increase. Of course, that was um, out of box, um, missing the little ranger figure, which we'll see in a bit with the Octozord and minor damage. But no, this is all you really need. You don't 100%, you don't need the box and the figure. That was, I mean, the box is nice. But the figure, it really was just for play. So, yeah, I quite like the Zord. Now, this is no longer your review. Um, let's go over the Swordfish Zord. Which, I really dig this design. You know, at first I thought it was kind of meh. Like, when I got the toy with the tail. And like, But... This is really grown on me, I think. So by itself, when you roll it, its gimmick is that the tail moves. Not a whole lot, but it does move. And then again, the combination with the Samurai Megazord here is, is different than the show. And I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's not horrid. So what you're going to want to do is take off the head. You're going to fold these up like that. And you're going to want to extend its sword thing. And then that becomes a helmet. Which is kind of hard to get in there. And then in the show, this will just clip onto the back. Now there is no way of getting it on here unless you like you tack it or tape or maybe even hot glue. But other than that, there's no way. So what you do is you actually take off the ape sword and you plug this guy in. And you'll notice there's a little hole. That's where you take your sword and get it in there. So now he has a sword arm, which is kind of cool. Like I get the idea, but I don't like you. Get, you got to get rid of the ape sword because now the ape sword's here just by himself or by herself. And he's like, oh man. You know, like he's, um, what's his face? The fox from Dora. But, you know, it's still a cool looking thing. You know, I quite dig the sword. I quite dig the samurai line in general. And for anyone wondering, yes, my samurai megazord is custom. So I just sword as detail. That's really nicely painted. I didn't really do a good job with this one. And then this one's not also a good job, but it's not as bad as as Bear. Yeah. Um, I don't remember exactly what I paid for this, but I think it was around like $15, $20. And this was like $12, $15 back in the day. All, all these auxiliary resorts were like $12, $15, depending on where you got it. Again, I quite like this design. I think it's a decent Zord. Um, I, I recommend. Also, didn't come with the box or the figure. The only one that did come with box and figure is Octo Zord, which I will be going over. Yeah, this is cool. Now, the last one is I've done a bit differently. Because I got, actually, instead of getting this one on eBay, I got this at Comic-Con. <laughs> And it didn't have the tail, and I couldn't really find the tail on eBay, but I have molding clay. So what I've done is I've molded the tail how it is in, how it is in the toy, you know, just like that, and then later like this. But in the show, and in the Japanese version, it can fold up into a circle. And the American toy could not do that. And what I've realized is I can do that. So I've made a second version that's just the circle. The American version, like, if you buy it with the tail, there's no way of getting the circle. Now, I kind of messed up with the peg. It doesn't really stay, but you can get it to stay. I've got it to stay before. Um, I need to... See, it, it kind of stays. What I need to do is take my knife and shave it down, which I've tried doing, but it's not really working. Let's see if I can get a little bit right now. Is that's really all it needs. This is completely off camera. 
You see, like, I already painted it, and then I realized it doesn't fit. So I'm trying to do is shave it down. I think that did a little bit. Don't worry, I'm very safe with the knife. I'm, I'm very, very careful with it. Let's see if that did anything. It's kind of hard with the head moving a whole bunch. Okay, so it, it can't stay, I swear. But for the actual Tiger Zerd, all you need is this. You don't, because it just goes, pegs in, and it's just a tail. When you do need it, like the circle, is when you bring in the Samurai Megazord, which I've got right here, of course, because it's been right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to completely take this guy apart, basically. Now, I take it apart because I like to rearrange the drills. Oh, I didn't even show its feature. Hold on. Sorry about that. Come on. These front ones are kind of hard with the extra thing. So, what it has is spinning drills. So, if you roll it, these drills will spin. In the Japanese version, all four will spin. But since they added this, I guess, you kind of make these back two spin. So, only the front two will spin. And then they got rid of the fourth, or the, the two extra um, little um, claws, I guess. Which, I don't see why they had to do that. I think they could have kept the four claws. But, you know, it's whatever. Anyways, so, what you're going to want to do for this combination, what I do, is, you know, put these like this, right? No, I put these like this. There we go. I like to put these right here, and then what... The toy and the instructions want you to do is put these on the back so that way it can clip in all the way. I'll show you actually, like that. Then I'll go over what I'm doing. And you know, I want to pull up his, I want to pull up his little thing that can just clip right in. And then you want to take the tiger head, and that's going to become his helmet. And then that's where you're going to want the circle one. Um, of course, that doesn't matter if you get the actual American tail. Please stay. Okay, I told Dom that it can stay. Please. I just made the circle one today. They, see, there we go. So that's what it's supposed to look like. But, you can actually make it more screen accurate. At least the back piece. By moving these to the front, but you're gonna have to do two things. And there's gonna be two things. Make sure these bits are facing out, and then this won't plug in all the way, but it will stay. Because this is indeed how it is on the show. Look, it's just facing a little differently. And then, of course, I'm gonna spend a little, excuse me, like two minutes putting this back on. See, there we go. So this is how it looks. Um, um, uh, this is how I would always do it. Of course, you can do it however you'd like, but that's how I like to do it. All right. Let me pause a second. Real quick note, if you have the writing figure and you'd like to use it, make sure these are up, but then you'll also have to like put them like that. Or he's not really able to stand by himself that great. But if you want to use it, that's how you do it. Um, I'm just doing that because I will be um, showing off the riding feature with Antonio and all the Zords. Okay, but now for something that excites me. The Samurai Battle Wing. Now how you form that, it's honestly pretty simple. You're going to want to switch these two around just to, make, to break the chronological thing. And then let's start with Tiger here, actually. So you're going to want to take out the tail, his head. You want to push all four of these back. 
just like that. And then, what you want to do is take your swordfish, and you're going to attach him right where the head was. And you're going to take his tail bit off, just like that. And then there's a little hole there, and that's going to attach this right here, just like that. And then it doesn't stay the greatest, but it but it works. And then what you're going to want to do for beetle is you're going to take this part off, just like that. And then you're going to attach them to this side. And then you're going to put this facing the right way. Just up right here. And then you're going to take this head right here. And just take it off. And you're going to put it right on the clip right here. Um, just like that. It doesn't stay the... Oh, I just didn't put it on all the way. There we go. And then I'm not sure where the tiger head goes. I don't think... I don't really think there's a spot for it um i feel like there's a spot on the back oh yeah right there okay so you see these four little things right there i believe they can plug in right there maybe not it doesn't okay so there is not a spot for the tiger head on here which is fine anyways what you're gonna do you're gonna take the circle one, or if you have the actual thing, it doesn't matter, of course, because it's just one piece. Then you're going to plug it in right there. Like, if I can get it to stay. There we go. And then, boom. This is your samurai battle wing. Um, I don't know if it was evident or not. Oh, wait, you're going to want to turn his tail a bit like that. That's what I was forgetting. Well, I don't I, like I was saying. I don't know if it's evident or not, but I do not have the Japanese versions, so there will be no comparison to those. But basic, the only difference really is that they come with the discs and they can come out. Um, they're much much larger, like insanely larger, and there's a little more paint. And of course, the few things I've mentioned. I forgot to mention, actually, with the swordfish, the tail is completely different in Japan. It looks completely different, functions completely different. But I, I actually prefer the American. But yeah, this is the Samurai Battle Wing. This is the form with just Jaden, Mike, and Kevin. It flies around. Um, it's supposed to be a bird of some sort. I never really saw it too much, but I thought it looked cool anyways. And then, of course, it can combine... With the Samurai Megazord. So, let's do that. And this head does come back into play. So you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to take off this head crest. And you want to, um. Oh, I dropped the sword, swords, fish tail. I'm going to move this aside. You want to take off the, the two non-spinning legs. And then move this bottom spinning leg up here. And you're gonna put this aside a second. Let me grab that. And I'm gonna put that back. And then you're gonna take your Samurai Megazord. And then you're gonna take these. And in the show, they go on here like this. Um, again, tape, hot glue, tack. It's the only way to get those to stay there. So what the American toy has you do is attach them on the legs. Which, they're quite useless here. But they are useless up here anyways, too. So it doesn't really matter. And then, you're gonna use this, you're gonna attach it the same way you attach the Tiger Zord. Um, just like that. It's getting quite tall. And then, you're gonna put this head up here. And then, you're gonna use the open one. And you're going to attach it just like that. And this is your Samurai Battle Wing Megazord. Um, here, let me actually do point five. Um, I think this looks awesome. I don't remember these being quite high in the show. But this is still a really cool transformation. Honestly, my biggest gripe is since the Zords are like this, you see the bottom of them. And specifically with Beetle, you can see the hole. 
you can't really, the camera's not really picking it up, but you can see the hole where um, the Megazord head would go in. It's not that big of a deal, but, you know, if you look at it from the back, it looks pretty cool. Now, let's get to this guy. Alright, here's the Octozord, actually in box, so I will be going over the box. Now, some of you might know this, this is the re-release for Super Samurai. What does that mean? Um, the only differences are that the figure's head or helmet is removable. Um, it obviously it says Super Samurai and it has the Super Samurai stuff. But they included a little paper origami that you can make. Um, I'm thinking, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not actually gonna make it. Um, maybe someday, but I don't know. I don't really need two Octozords. You say it's Octozord and Mega Ranger Light. I don't remember them calling them that in the boxes. I I just remember them being Octozord and Mega Gold Ranger or whatever. Or Ra Gold Ranger Mega Mode. Anyways, there's the figure. You can see it has a picture of Antonio right there. Um, there's the Octozord showing its spinning feature way up here. Nothing on the top. Nothing on the bottom, really. Is that my phone going off? I think my phone's going off. It was nothing important. I'm on the back here. Let me point five this way. You see Super Samurai. A bunch of stuff that doesn't really matter. Bandai.com, 4 Plus. Only on Nickelodeon. No longer true. Um, a bunch of stuff here that's now in the bottom of toys nowadays. I'll unlock more about this toy. This doesn't work anymore. It's showing the Samurai Battle Wing, plus the Octazord, equals the Samurai Battle Cannon, which we will get into. It's showing that the Light Zord and the Cheap Claw Zord are compatible compatible with the Cheap Gigazord. Don't really know why it's on here, and not the Light Zord box, or this thing's box. But I guess it's just showing off Zord Builder. But yeah. Um, on this side, it's showing Zord Bill, Builder. On this side, it's the Mega Mode Rangers. Because he's on the front. And the Light Zord. Or the Light Sword. The Light Kanji. Now, something I've been waiting four days to do. Because I ordered um, the Swordfish, Beetle, Bowl, which I haven't reviewed yet. And this all on eBay at the same exact time. This was the first to show up, and that was four days ago. The last to show up was Beetle and Bull, because I bought them from the same person. So I've been looking at this thing for four days, not opening it. Which for some people doesn't isn't really a problem. For me it is. I love to op I love to have open toys. So let's just get right into this. There's like I said, th this is probably resealed, but no, it doesn't matter because the actual toy wasn't taken out. Oh yeah, okay. So this might actually be a problem. There we go. Does um, this go down? I'm like trying not to de completely destroy this box, just the tape. No? Or how do you get this open? I'm trying to open it without like destroying. Okay, so what they done did is taped this boy up. Okay, I see. Let me try to do this quickly so I don't have to pause. There we go. Just cut through the tape. Knife. You can do that. Almost there. Now this side. Don't want to rip it. That's not what we want to do. Um... A little bit of a gap here. I'll fit this under. Yes. I just. Okay, I think that's all I need to open it. Let's. Let's freaking open this thing, dude. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut through the plastic. Hopefully I can just get it out through this. Uh, 
Remember the good days where everything came in plastic? Come on, you're right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut. I'm gonna have to cut some more here. This is the unboxing experience of a 12 year old toy. Yes, for those who do not know, this has been in a box for 12 years. Oh, getting there. Almost. Getting really, really close. I think I can. There we go. Okay, so. You can see there is instructions, which I will not be ripping up like I normally do. And then, here. Oh, it's actually taped to the box. Okay. Um, yeah, you can see a better little paper on Mako's Zord. I'll just leave that there. Um, least important thing first. Here is. An... Oh, that's really stuck in there. Holy. Oh, I bent the Super Sonya logo. Oh, here's his helmet. I was expecting this to be rubbery. It's not. But it looks good. There's a little seam line, but you can just pretend that's where the helmet opens. And this is how you know it's been a box for 12 years. Um, the little white thing that holds figures is yellow. Honestly, I think I could just... Yeah, it's so brittle I could just rip it. Did leave a little bit of a mark on him, though. Okay. I was really hoping this hand can come down. It doesn't. But this figure is honestly pretty cool. Um, obviously, it's not the most possible thing in the world. And we've got I've gotten so used to light in the collection. This shocked me. But, you know, back in the day, this was honestly pretty cool. Then, of course, you can take his helmet. And, oh, wow. Slide it on. And there he is. And if I guess he didn't care about his hand. You could flip this so the sword's up. But of course I do care about his hand. So I will be keeping this down like this. Yeah this figure's pretty cool. And you know I lied. I'm not going to show him on the other swords. Because I just have the battle wing waiting here for the combination. But yeah this figure's honestly pretty cool. I wasn't really expecting to care about this much. But you know this is honestly really cool. I like this a lot. I think this will be going on the shelf next to the SH Figuarts for Shinkender. I mean, I don't see any ties on this, so let's just grab them. Alright, yeah. I'm going to set this packaging aside. You know. Of course, I don't need the knife anymore, so I'm going to close that. Grab my tape measure. All right, so let's close this. Close that. Open these. Oh, this has never been open. Oh, you're gonna want this to go there too. Oh, bring these up. So yeah, this is the Octozord. Um, for those who don't know, I used to have quite a bit of the Samurai Zord, Samurai toys, but I didn't have all the Zords. I didn't. I never had. Um, Swordfish, Tiger, Octo, and Bull. But, of course, now I have all of them. We haven't seen Bull yet, but that's next video. Yeah, so its gimmick is spinning. You can't... It doesn't really work, because you, got, you gotta hold it, but obviously it gets in the way. What works better is the, what the box actually said, where you kinda just roll it. Now maybe it's like a drill. Or I'm just going this way. It's like an engine maybe. But I think that's cool. No, it's not like the most amazing thing in the world. But I think a cool I think a kid would find that cool. And I actually do have a little comparison I just remembered about that I can go get real quick. I can compare it to the SH Figuarts. Um this is, like, this is, um, I don't know how to put it, like, more of an off-white. Well, this is more like a pure white. 
Oh, yeah. You gotta like lift these up to have a better spin. Oh, yeah, these joints are still tight. I'm not used to that. Yeah, see that's that's how that works. Um, there you go. Now they're in the same position. Let me see. There we go. Um, this just comes apart in two like that for not no particular reason. Of course, these little things never like combined or anything like that. This does. Um, for those who, um, never mind. Let's just set that aside. The disc doesn't fold out and come out. Oh, geez, that is rusted. Look at that. I was expecting to be rusted because it's like all the other screws aren't. Um, I don't have the Japanese version, but I've seen videos on it. I know. Um, let me pick this up a bit. In the Japanese version, this was a button. You could push it, and this would come up. On this one, you just do it yourself just like that. So you get kind of just like that. Um, it doesn't do it for it. It does it for this combination with the Samurai Megazord, which I will get into now. Um, so the way this this will come apart into three pieces. I'm just going to do this. Into three pieces. This first one just like that. And the second one just like that. And then I'm trying to remember how this goes. Um. Okay, yeah. So this will fold. That will fold like that, and you can leave this. And then, um, you can. He doesn't need the sword for this combination, actually. And there's a little handle here that can fold out, and then that will become a shield. And then you'll oh take this bit out. And then you can put that in there. Or maybe I had this wrong. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I had this wrong. Um, how does this go? I totally should have looked up how this go how this goes before I did it. Oh, okay, never mind. I see. I right. Okay. So it's these two right here. So it is folded like I had initially. And then these two right here will plug into here. Just like that. And then what you're going to want to do is you can you want to extend this. And this clip right here is going to go onto this clip right here. And there you go. This is the first combination Antonio has with the other rangers. And then you could have the sword, but you don't really need a sword when you have a spear. So, just I like I'm just gonna leave it out. And of course, I don't have the Japanese version to compare to, but I think this is really cool. Um, now for his combination with the um Quasord, which. I am, of course, now that I've got to do the actual video, I'm struggling to remember. Shoot. I'm going to have to pause and look it up. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to pause and look it up. Okay, sorry about that. I remember it now. Or, I looked it up. So, we're going to want the handle to be in. And then, um, I didn't go over it in the in the closet review because I don't remember. Um, this, I don't know which one this is what like direction it is but this is the face for claws for the octozord i always thought this was the face for the claws coming down because it looks like claws whatever um so that's the face and then what you're gonna do is plug this right onto here it'll go come on god golly it's... the legs are okay hold on Okay, I'm not weak, I swear. I need a taller tripod for these Zord combinations, man. And then what you're going to want to do is undo this. I can just go back like that. And then you're going to want to reattach this. And then in the show, what happens is that these fold up. And he just holds it like kind of like this. 
Like there's a handle that comes out, and that's not what I wanted to happen. And he holds it, and that's what they show on the box for um, the Clawzor. Oh, this goes down. But he can't, he can't hold it. You can like almost trick it to holding it. Kind of like I've seen some people do it. Like that, there we go. But what the actual like thing shows you to do is have these come out like this. Stop one thing from falling, but the other thing falls. Ah. It's been a minute since, I, since I've done a video. Um, so we're gonna we, what they tell you to do is this, like, like this. Which one is it? It's not. I know he holds it. It's like. Like that, which is just not what happens on the screen at all. Matter of fact, it's not even fitting with this thing. I I just don't like the way this looks. So like I like I showed you, you can fake it, but it doesn't really stay. So you got to be careful. Okay, now what I've been waiting for is our combination with thumb. Move this up the way. With the samurai battle wing to make the samurai battle cannon. Um, so I'm just gonna take my custom piece out, put that over there, and I'll see if I can do this from memory. So what you're gonna want to do is gonna wanna take this and put it back on the beetle sword. And it is gonna have that head crest on it, but I'm gonna do that last because it'll just fall off. Then you're gonna want to separate um, these into the three bits. Three stooges, three bits, same thing. And then you're gonna wanna. There's a little hole right here on his like nose thing, and that's gonna connect to where the beetles or thing connected. That's gonna go right on there. And then what's gonna happen is that this is gonna fold down like that, I believe. Oh, this is where you might want to switch these around. Fit stuff. Come on. Come on. Now, that's like my worst video yet, I swear. I'm going to fold that, and that's going to connect. All right, yep. And then you're going to fold his little things like that. And then these are actually going to connect to these little holes that you see right here and there. These are like little pegs. He's gonna go right in there. And then you're gonna wanna reattach the tail. And let me put the head crest on. I believe that's it. I can let me check the box, of course. The box box actually shows the combination. Oh wait. I am forgetting something. You can turn this guy around. There's a spot somewhere. For the... Oh, right there. That doesn't look right. Oh, there was a spot for this to go on the back. And of course, I can't find it. But there was a spot created for him somewhere here. Oh, but that's fine. I can just leave it to the side. Oh, let me check the box. Okay. What you're going to do is flip these around just like this. Oh, oh, I don't want to do that. Or that. Actually, I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'm going to have to take off the bottom part here. And you're just going to flip these around. So. Come on. Alright, this is a Samurai Battle Cannon. Now, what combination uses a Samurai Battle Cannon? 
The Claw Armor Megazord, which I'm going to make really quick. Okay. So in the show, you'll have the Claw Zord and the call in the other auxiliary zords. They'll be like, Samurai Battle Cannon. Fire. Yeah. Honestly, my biggest complaint is that since the these auxiliary zords are so much smaller, his combination is so much smaller. Because like he's supposed to be like there in the show. And he's down here. Not the biggest deal, but it's just a little gripe. Um, but other than that, let me put this guy aside. I think these auxiliary swords are freaking awesome. You know, I lo I love the same like I said, I love the same online so much. Um, it has a very special place in my heart. I recommend picking up like all these guys. If of course you have the money and space for the Shinkinder stuff, and you'd rather have that, go for that. But I don't have the money for that. That's like five hundred, six hundred dollars. And plus, I wanted the American stuff. Um. But yeah. Holy! Shit. I can't. I got dead pixels. I'm using. I got a new phone, and I'm keeping my old phone just for YouTube. And I dropped. I dropped it after I got the new phone, and there's dead pixels right where. It, um, it says my time, but I think it's 40 minutes. It feels way longer than 40 minutes. Anyways, um, may the power protect you guys.